The USC Trojans are 23-0 in November under Pete Carroll. Moving that mark to 24-0 seems highly likely as the fifth-ranked Trojans welcome winless Washington to L.A. on Saturday. Ryan Abraham of USC Football and Rivals.com now joins us. Steve Sarkeesian came out and said, yes, I'm interested in the Washington job. What do you know about this situation? Yeah, Sarkeesian did say that this week he was interested in the job. It's kind of unique because Washington comes to the Coliseum on Saturday. Pete Carroll gives him his complete blessing. He would like to see Sarkeesian go off and get a better job someplace else. And Sarkeesian, a couple years ago, was offered the head coaching job of the, uh, the Oakland Raiders, turned it down. He was more interested in a college job. So he will be looked at this job at the end of the year. If it's not Washington, Steve's going to go somewhere. He's that good. Now, back when Norm Chow left, they had Lane Kiffin. They had Steve Sarkeesian to just promote. Is there someone within the ranks right now that could take over if Steve does, in fact, leave? They do have a couple strong personalities on the staff. Offensive line coach Pat Rule, but I don't think he would be a really good candidate. I think he likes coaching the offensive line. And John Morton, the receivers coach, did spend some time in the NFL. But I think the fan base and, and probably the staff themselves would like to bring in a big-name offensive coordinator, someone that can make a big splash here in L.A. As for the offense right now, it seems like for every good game, they have a game where they take a big step back. That pattern continued at Arizona. Yeah, Mark Sanchez missed that first pass of the game. He had a wide-open Patrick Turner in the end zone. Would have been a touchdown. I think that would have turned the fortunes around for the entire offense for that game. But they have to do a couple things. One, limit the turnover. Sanchez himself has fumbled and thrown some interceptions. And two, just be able to recover if they get off to a slow start. Emotionally, they have to be able to pick themselves off the turf if they get off to that slow start and get the offense going again. As for the big picture in the BCS, Ryan, uh, Penn State beat Ohio State. That wasn't good for USC. Looks like the winner of Florida, Georgia, most likely will jump ahead of USC in the rankings. With each passing week, it seems less and less likely that SC will make it to Miami. Yeah, it looks like USC is on the outside looking in as far as making it to Miami. There could be a few different circumstances that happen, but a lot of things would have to happen in succession for that to occur. They know because they lost to, to Oregon State, they've you know they basically limited what they could do as far as the BCS goes. They just have to keep winning their games and hope it works out for the best. All right, Ryan, talk to you again in a little bit. Two weeks ago, USC beat one in seven Washington State 69 to nothing. In two days, the fifth ranked Trojans get 0-7 Washington. Ryan Abraham of USC Football com is back with us now with the schedule remaining ryan there's a chance that usc could win out but finish the season ranked lower than fifth which is where they are right now has reality set in that the rose bowl might be the most realistic goal well for the team that's not so much they don't really think about that all the, all that much i mean they know if they went out they're going to go to a bcs bowl game someplace they don't even control their own destiny for the rose bowl because if oregon state wins out they would go but for the fan base yeah that reality has set in they really were looking forward to playing an SEC or a Big 12 champion in that game in Miami it doesn't look like that's going to happen now I would imagine USC could name the score or will name the score on Saturday as for now let's have you predict the score yeah I, I don't think it's going to be as bad as Washington State Washington State was really just trying to get out of that game without getting injuries Washington's a proud program Tyrone Willingham stepping down this week. He's going to get his guys fired up, but they won't have enough athletes for USC. I like the Trojans 45-3. to All right, Ryan, talk to you again next week.